A former Colorado Springs man who pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting a four year old girl may not see any jail time for it as part of a plea deal. Besides Laura Wilson was at today's hearing. She spoke with the victim's family and Laura. They are not happy about this move. Oh, they're very upset and still somewhat in disbelief. I spoke with the victim's grandmother today, Valerie Montoya, who says she and the suspect were actually neighbors and she considered him a good friend. He and his wife would on a pretty regular basis babysit for Montoya's granddaughter. Well, then last August, she learned the unimaginable had happened. I don't know if you ever recover from something like this. Valerie Montoya says 53 year old Hector Gonzalez has torn her family apart after she discovered he sexually assaulted her four year old granddaughter last year. They've taken her out of schools. My daughter's lost her job because of all of this. And, you know, I don't know what I just don't know what the future holds. But this week she learned Gonzalez's future may not include jail time. He's getting off easy. On Thursday, Gonzalez took a plea deal that could keep him out of jail if the judge follows the DA's recommendation. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that he would get probation. I thought he would go to jail. He pleaded guilty to sexual assault on a child by one in a position of trust, a class four felony with a recommended four year deferred sentence. He also pleaded guilty to a class one misdemeanor unlawful sexual contact charge with the recommended four years of supervised probation. Just total shock because I just feel people have gone to jail for far less. Montoya and her daughter plan to speak at Gonzalez's sentencing in May in hopes of convincing the judge to reject the deal. Until then, they're focused on helping her granddaughter, who is now five, heal. This is going to be a forever thing and and I Hope and pray that this doesn't define her. Now, Gonzalez's sentencing is scheduled for May 8th. Both of these charges do carry jail time, so the judge still has the option during sentencing to reject the plea deal and opt for a harsher punishment than what the DA's office is recommending. We'll keep you posted on what happens next. Always watching out for you, El Paso County, Laura Wilson, News 5.